Dear listeners and viewers, welcome to Battle of the Podcasts, round two, King and Queen of the Ring. Uh, this is a collaboration between Bjorn Abest, the Norwegian wrestling podcast, and Wrestlers and Nerds, the Danish wrestling podcast. And I think I'll bring uh, my fellow host, uh, Nikolai Wachtman, on here. So, Nikolai, could you please tell us the rules of this uh, tournament, the prediction tournament? Uh, yeah, the very clear and easy to understand for everybody and uh, it's it goes something like this that everything that the danish team says is more or less the right predictions <laughs> and the norwegian team are taking notes so they can learn something about english no jokes aside um it's like that we each have a prediction for the five matches that we know and also the semi-finals as well for the king and queen tournament so and uh, for the four single matches, or the three-way actually, Kim and I have some bonus questions as well. But we will not reveal them until we comes to each match. Excellent. And Chaos, welcome. Thank you. Have you ever met Bjorn before, is, or is this the first time? No, no, we met plenty of times. <laughs> both, both in Norway and Denmark. Mm-hmm. And uh, Bjorn Sam, welcome. Have you learned anything from Danish wrestling? Oh, yeah, I learned from Danish wrestling, definitely. But not from Nikolai or Chaos, because I learned from Danish wrestling back in 2001 when Ospion Ries got me over for um, uh, wrestling on his shows back then. So that's when I started wrestling, and uh, that w was a time when I knew very little, but still, I was there back in 2001. This is 23 years ago, guys. So I yeah, have yeah, learned more yeah. about wrestling and forgotten more about wrestling than you, Nikolai, will ever learn. Chaos, well, you've been around just about as long as I have, so um, I, I just don't think the information ever sinked in. So, guys, let's just get on with the predictions. I have to say, uh, Nikolai... No, no, uh, no, 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 I got some. Oh? I got some. Uh, oh, the yes. fact is that actually when uh, Bjorn had his uh, debut match up uh, with uh, Esbjorn Ries, I was actually seeing it in the audience. So I saw the match, and it was with the uh, Guy Saxon, right? Yep. Yep. And it was a draw, I think. Yeah, that's true as well. Mm -hmm. See? <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Ah, yeah, there you there, there you go. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah <laughs> I'm all respect to uh, chaos here. He was learning from me all, already back in 2001. No, I was just up there seeing w w w what kind of idiots Esperon had training now since everybody, <laughs> all the good guys had left. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, that's, I, I that, think that's... we'll probably have to stop those two, uh, <laughs> two old-timers yeah. and get on with what the podcast is really about. Not yeah. selling well, uh, stories from the past. From the Stone uh, Age. Uh, let's see. Exactly. What? Well, what, what is this? I, I, thought, I, I thought we were talking about stuff that happened 20 years ago on this podcast. I thought that was the whole <laughs> point of this episode. Oh. <laughs> this uh, what are we going to talk about today? <laughs> <laughs> well, the point of this podcast is the prediction, uh, King and Queen of the Ring, and or as Nikolai uh, wrote in a message, it doesn't, it does not matter what you are predicting, you will still get your ass whooped. <laughs> and in the first round, uh, Nikolai, uh, you won, you had eight points, and we got six points. Yes, yes. So Nikolai became Queen of the Ring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It okay. doesn't matter if I'm king or queen. I'm still oh. on top, Jan. Oh, we all know you're the queen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, and Let's... King is the king. King Let's Chaos. See. King Chaos. That's a really good name. Uh, let's see. Let's just start with the matches. First match we're going to discuss is Becca Lynch versus Liv, uh, Liv Morgan for the dub Women's World Championship. Bjorn. Yeah, Becky Lynch uh, versus uh, Liv Morgan. I think Becky Lynch is going to win. Because? I have absolutely no interest in this match whatsoever. And um, <laughs> <laughs> because, totally um, right. yeah, like uh, uh, Becky Lynch is a bigger star, but uh, they they have been pushing uh, Liv Morgan a bit. So 
Um, I really don't know, but just gut feeling, Becky Lynch. If you have any stronger feelings about this, Amish, I'm going with your prediction on this one because I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that Nikolai is not in the running here. The only thing I heard I mean, was he, that, he yeah. should be in one of these matches. The queen of the ring. Oh, muscles. Uh, well, I I watched, uh, I think it was Wrestle Talk or something, and they said that Becky Lynch's uh, contract is just about to expire. Is it called expire? Yeah, it's nearly finished. So, well, that's the question here. Why? Uh, maybe they should do a title change because of that. But I also think Becky Lynch. Uh, Nikolai and Chaos. Kim, should I go uh, first? Yeah, you go first. Okay, well, uh, as uh, people would know in Denmark, uh, Liv Morgan is a very big fan favorite of the podcast. Not! We we actually <laughs> hate her. And she's disgusting, and she's a screaming little uh, lady oh who God. runs around screaming, and we totally disgust her. We don't like yes. her character. We don't like her in-ring work. It's from time to time quite sloppy, her Her finisher, Oblivion, is should actually send her to Oblivions. So uh, we could only go with one person in this match, and that's Becky Lynch. Chaos, you want to add? Something? Well, I guess uh, Nicolas said it all. So yeah. <laughs> so and, uh, Becky and... Lynch is going to win, and the disgusting, screaming little character is going to lose. <laughs> yes, exactly. And of course, we have a little bonus question for you guys as well, and I'll write it to you afterwards, uh, Anna's as well. Mm -hmm. Will this match go over or under 10 minutes? Ooh, uh, Björn? Ja, yeah, also not in my mind, but uh, <clears throat> yeah. Um, oh, sorry, I suddenly switched to Norwegian there. Um, yeah, oh. the, the match will go. Um, I think the match will go around 10 minutes. I think it'll just go mm. over 10 minutes. Mm. Uh, uh, Chaos and Nikolai? Kim, I think you should uh, go first on this one. Yeah, I hope on the 10, but yeah. I think over 10. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll uh, come back yeah, up, of course, agreed. because we are a very cohesion team, so we are mm. totally aligned with everything that's going on here. So And, and there are only uh, five matches on the card So yes. I don't think any matches will be under 10 minutes. So yeah, good. And, and we also saw that on Backlash as well. They're going mm. with long, shorter match card and longer matches. So it anything points that we have, we'll have a way longer match than we used to. Mm. And this show will probably also be around three hours, just like uh, Backlash. Yeah. yeah, tight three hours. Okay, so uh, Lynch and Lynch. Next match, it's a triple threat match uh, for uh, the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Sami Zayn, Chad Gable, and Bronson Reed. Bjorn, I don't see a. I, I can't really see a title change here. I can't see the. Why should this happen in uh, Saudi Arabia? No, oh, I completely do agree. I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think it'll be a title change. Because last time Sami Zayn was in Saudi Arabia, he was really over. I think they're not going to take the title off of Sami Zayn this early. There, uh, <clears throat> there has been speculation that Chad Gable was going to get it to uh, make sure that Chad Gable actually uh, becomes a player in WWE because he's worth becoming a player. But I don't think this is the time. I don't think the mm. triple threat is... Um, Uh, the match for it, so I think um, Sami Zayn will retain, and I think he'll pin Bronson Reed. Ooh, that sounds like a bonus question uh, or prediction, Nikolai. Who will yeah. pin who in the uh, triple threat match? We, yeah, I think it, well, well, Bjorn just uh, took the word right out of my mouth. Uh, it's like he has some kind of a telepathic uh, connection with me. He could he could learn a lot if he could read my mind then. So <laughs> I'll take it from there. But um I think Kim, should I take this one first or yeah, you take that okay. one? Okay. Okay. I think actually uh I totally agree with uh Jan on this one as well, because I think Sami Zayn will retrain and because they are keeping probably the title change for SummerSlam if they're going mm -hmm. to change change the title uh, 
from Sami Zayn to Chad Gable because Kim and I had a very good discussion as we always do when two great minds uh, talk about wrestling. We were talking about it's the good thing with um, the summertime is that it's always positive that they will have a face champion going into the summer because not not much is happening and so on and it's easier for a face to have the belt. Uh, Kim, was it the right way that I said it, or? Yeah, I just think uh, WWE normally likes to have uh, champions who are faces uh, at summer because not 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 a whole lot happens. So that's me thinking like that. Mm. Do you agree, Bjorn? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> I, um, I we're agreeing too much again. Yeah, <laughs> this was the problem in the start of the first. Uh, podcast we did together we were agreeing too much we have mm-hmm. to start disagreeing guys yeah that, that's that's where you got the six point the last time was in yeah. the beginning then, <laughs> then... because you did not listen <laughs> but I, I, Kim, i'm actually what? quite what? happy what? with this predictions that it's, sounds sorry. like that the norwegian guys have listened to the podcast again and and thinking well we could really learn something from the great things <laughs> <laughs> but who who do you think will uh, yeah, pin who? Yes, uh, yes. No, no. Uh, I I have to answer this, Samish, because <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, it's it's completely true. We could absolutely learn something from the dogs. Um, <laughs> Great Danes, yes, those dogs are really smart. Yeah, like Scooby Doo. Uh, let's see. So chaos. Who will pin who in the triple threat match? Yeah, uh, hi. The Samsung Bjorn. Oh, you have to do it in English, Kim. Oh yes, um, the 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 same as Bjorn, uh, Sami Zayn will pin um, the big guy. So um, I, I Reed, Chad, yeah, yeah Bronson Reed, uh, Chad Gable will they will have a single match later on. So, but do you I think do you think the three will be a good match, or will be a bit like uh, the th- triple threat from Backlash with Stratton and Naomi and Bailey, where Stratton is a bit on the side. No, I think this will be a really good match, actually. I think they wrestle each other a lot in single matches, so they should be able to make a, quite a good match, I think. I hope so. They're good, mm. three good wrestlers, so I don't see why not. Mm. And the good thing about placing Bronson Reed in this uh, th- triple threat match is that he's very poses a real threat to both of them, both Sami Zayn and Chad Gable. And he's done a lot of good in-ring work he is a uh, very uh, very agile even though he's a big guy he can do a lot of different stuff he has this great finisher like uh, yeah the s- small bear from norway um <laughs> he has this finisher called the tsunami uh, which is very good so i think they know each other good had a great feeling with each other both as single as single wrestlers between each other, so this match will work and could be a show stealer of the night, I think, because mm. it's so underestimated from a lot of wrestling fans. So, mm. Bjorn? Yeah, oh, that can be a match of the night. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> this being uh, poten- potentially the ma- match of the night, that's an interesting take. Um, but then we have to remember that uh, Günther is going to be in uh, the um, in the men's uh, King of the Ring uh, <clears throat> matches. So I actually think that uh, Günther, <clears throat> as in my opinion, he usually does, will pull off match of the night. I disagree with this becoming match of the night, but uh, definitely I do agree that this will be. <clears throat> probably, hopefully, a really good match. I'm looking forward to this triple threat. Mm-hmm. One more match before we talk about the uh, King of the Ring and Queen of the Ring tournament. A match that I really don't understand, and I like Logan Paul, and I think it is a champion versus champion match for both belts, and that's Cody Rhodes versus Logan Paul, and uh, Nikolai, you are drinking Prime. Yes, I am. So but, I write, uh, you say uh, Logan Paul, and we say, no, uh, uh, Nikolai first. Cody Rhodes uh-huh. or Logan Paul? Do you understand this match? Uh, after AJ Styles and Cody Rhodes, very good match. 
And I like Logan Paul. I think he's a good wrestler, even though he's uh, uh, very new. But I don't understand the match. It's, I, I think it's a crown prince of uh, uh, Saudi Arabia match. Yes. He's using they... WWE as a gaming console in a way. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. They have uh, paid a lot of money for this match t- mm. to happen. And, uh, mm. But I'm the one good thing about this match is that they're not asking for the Undertaker for uh, Ultimate Warrior <laughs> or someone else who is already in the grave. So this is actually good. It's between two wrestlers who are alive today. So let's just go there uh, first. And um, this match doesn't make any sense. It's a showcase of Logan Paul, and they does that every time when they come to Saudi Arabia because they want Logan Paul there. So even though it doesn't make sense, they know Logan Paul can put up a great match. He has shown time and time again. He has some great in-ring skills. He appeals to the younger audience uh, in Saudi Arabia. Uh, He's huge. He has paid a lot of money. And I love the way that he's trash talking Cody up till this match because he says, I'm going to pin you on the logo in the middle of the ring because now there's not a WWE logo, there's a prime ball in there. Mm. But mm. I have to correct something. I said something wrong because it says on a site here initially, this was to be a match for both the WWE and United States Championships. But Paul ri- uh, ripped that contract up and made a new one on SmackDown this past week. One that that says it will only be for the title Rhodes currently holds. Sorry. Uh, but still, but still, don't understand the match. It's just Kim? one of yeah. these matches that it's a showcase of wrestling. It's a show match yeah, yeah, yeah. that doesn't make any sense, but it will still be a good match and it will pose or it will make Cody be more over than he already is. So mm. so I think it no doubt about that Cody Rhodes will win. Uh, no ba- doubt about that. It does that was because they made that move with the belt. Logan Paul is not ready. There's too much money in Logan Paul with the mm. US championship belt around his waist. So they're probably waiting maybe for SummerSlam because it's his hometown uh, in Cleveland, mm. I think, uh, where he will lose it, I think, there. And um, so no doubt about that. And I think this match will be a long match because um, Logan Paul is very, very, uh, has a great physique. Uh, and Cody as well. So this will be the longest match of the night, and it will go over 23 minutes. Beer? I completely agree that this will be the longest match of the night. Of course, I agree that um, uh, Rhodes will keep uh, the title and win the match. I was going to predict that they're going to do a bait and switch and only the... uh, um, world title or WWE title or universal title or whichever it is, uh, Cody Rhodes holds will be the only one on the line. Um, I didn't know that they already had done that bait and switch, but um, I also agree that this match is only signed because they're in uh, Saudi Arabia and that's good. Um We've gotten a few really bad matches in Saudi Arabia because some of the top um, money men over there uh, have been fans of DX, Undertaker and Kane, Bill Goldberg. And that's why we got Bill Goldberg versus Undertaker over there. But this match will actually be really good. So Mm. I'm happy we're getting it, although the booking doesn't make much sense. They're going to give us a really good show. They're going to give us a really good match. Unfortunately, um, we can quite easily predict the winner. Um, But yeah, I also agree that this match, it'll be the longest of the night, 23 minutes. That's an interesting mark. That's because that's about as long as I'd expect it to go. Will it go longer or shorter than 24, 23 minutes? Ooh, wow. I, yep, I, I, I think it'll go longer as well. But I'm, that's, that's, a, that's 
pretty much on the button for what if I was booking it, I'd put like, yeah, go up approximately 23 minutes, guys. So, um, yeah, I, I think they'll go over, but that's a hard one. Uh, mm. I think you picked a really good number there, Nikolai, to be, to be honest. I, I can't criticize that. The one and only Nikolai Vakman. You want to add anything, uh, Chaos, uh, before we talk about the uh, King and Queen of the Ring tournaments? No, this is just uh, what I would call a money match uh, and typical what they do in Saudi Arabia. So mm. I can understand why they do it because, again, it's so it's so much money. So I think it's fair and it's not a bad match. So I can't complain, really. Mm. So let's talk about the King and Queen uh, of the Ring tournaments. Uh, we'll start with Queen of the Ring. Uh, just to, just to um, do a short recap, Maxine Dupree is out, Natalia is out, Dakota Kai is out, Ivy Nile is out, Naomi is out, Piven, uh, Piper Niven is out, Mitchin is out, and Candy, Candice LaRay. Uh, and then Shayna Baszler, Zoe Stark, Jade Cargill, and Tiffany Stratton, they are all out. So the semifinals are... Io Sky versus Lyra Valkyria and Nia Jax versus Bianca Belair. I watched Wrestling with Regret and he did a prediction on his uh, Backlash review. And he said he, th- he thought it's going to be Shayna Baszler or uh, Lyra Valkyria. Well, Shayna Baszler is out, so it could be Lyra Valkyria. But first, uh, Chaos. Both Jade Cargill and Tiffany Stratton are out. What do you think? Well, I never thought uh, Tiffany Stratton was going to win it anyway. Um, Cargill is a bigger surprise, I think. Um, but here, uh, me and Nikolai is actually very. Um, we really don't know who's going to win this. We are not. Uh, we have all of all four of them uh, actually considered are, all four of them. Mm. We disagreed a lot, uh, but yeah. uh, but we are as. Uh, Humble hosts and the winner of the last round will let you guys go first. No, I, think I, we should... I, will actually, I, will, I will actually say this: whatever you, the Norwegian picks, we will pick the opposite. So uh, <laughs> uh, we will we'll take the opposite. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but I so, think actually uh, yeah. one suggestion, if I could come with one, I think maybe we should predict both semifinals, and when we know the final as well, we should use that as bonus questions on each final as well. So if yeah, someone later has, this week, yeah. Yeah, yeah, if someone has predicted wrong, they still have a chance to keep up with some of the points. Mm. So yeah. what do we're, you think, Bjorn? Do you agree? Or? But we're not going to. Uh, we're going to predict the correct uh, today. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, Bjorn, are. Bjorn, I'm tagging you in here. Tag. <laughs> <laughs> What was yeah. it? That, that was when it went wrong the last time where you said, this is Bjorn who actually said this, and then Tiffany Stratton was winning, and <laughs> yeah. uh, everything was going, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Tag again. No. Uh, Bjorn, take it away. Uh, Io Sky versus Lyra Valkyria, and the other one was Nia Jax and Bianca Belair. Yeah, I think that uh, Bianca Belair will uh, go to the finals against... Uh, um, Sky and um, I, I do believe. No, against that, Nia Jax. Uh, against Nia Jax, it's Nia Jax versus Bianca Belair. Yeah. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, okay. But sorry. Was, sorry. Yeah. I I think Bianca Belair will beat Nia Jax and mm-hmm. go to the finals. Oh, okay. Sorry. And yeah, uh, yeah and I think that uh, uh, Sky will beat Valkyria, although. Mm. They have been pushing Valkyria since she was in NXT UK, and I could never understand why, because she's, in my opinion, completely average and very small. But hey, that's uh, somebody up there likes her, so um, they're pushing for her, and uh, I could be wrong about this, but I'm still going with uh, the finals being... Um, Bel Air versus Sky. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll stop there. That's our final match. Uh, and then we'll predict that one later. Nikolai and Chaos. Who do you think will win? Io Sky, uh, Lyra Valkyria, and Nijax or Bianca Bel Air? Well, I said the exact same thing, same thing as uh, Bjorn said. So, But uh, Nikolai, it's up to you. <laughs> 
So now it's Lira Valkyria versus Nia Jax from the Danish people. Okay, no, <laughs> the opposite. Should we go uh, Nia Jax against Valkyria? <laughs> Yeah, I think so, actually. And that was what I was saying, because... And to um, to tell you why we think that would be a good way to go, because one thing, Nia Jax has been built up. She's going up against uh, Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair had a bad knee from the last match. She was limping. And there you have the way out for her to lose the match against Nia Jax because she's faking an injury or something like that to to protect Belair. And opposite of what uh, Bjorn is saying, of course, we are saying that, um, Laia Valkyria is the hot potato in uh, WWE at the moment. They want to push her. They want to, to show her, even though her in-ring skills from the last match that I saw really sucks, to be honest. She really sucks. Because she was sloppy, she wasn't. Her technique wasn't on point. I think there was a lot of sloppy moves where she should be more comfortable doing them, because of her experience, in-ring experience. So I was really disappointed. But it's not me that's the booker in WWE, and they tend to want to push a new talent in this type of match. And Nia Jax needs a win in one way or the other, to still pose a threat to the in the women's division, to be a liable threat. So I think we'll bo- go with Nia Jax against Lyra Valkyria. Kim, are you... Uh... It's okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. So that is also a bonus uh, point. Uh, the finals, you say Nia Jax versus uh, Lyra Valkyria, or how you pronounce it, and we say... Uh, Sky versus Bel Air, and who will win uh, the Queen of the Ring tournament, Bjorn? <clears throat> yeah, that's an, that, that's a hard one. So, if, if, so, so, so should I, we I, should I, we I, discuss yeah. both the matches or just our match? We should Nicolai. actually. I think we should just discuss the semifinals, and when we know the final, we'll come with our prediction in uh, our messenger. Okay, so we'll not in predict your... who will win the whole no. tournament now. Okay, no. we'll wait. Okay. Yeah, because then the other team has a possibility to do yeah. I'm I'm not going to see it live. I'm going to see it afterwards. So, <laughs> yeah, unless yeah. You, you carry the team for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'll, I'll tell you because the semifinals not, are on a SmackDown yeah, and the Raw. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, they're okay. not inside Arabia. I the, not yeah, the, I, uh, yeah, I thought the whole thing was going in no. um um no. Okay. No, just just the finals and the three matches we have already. No, th- just the two finals and the three matches we have already discussed. Yeah. So I'll send you a message uh, Saturday morning with uh, the SmackDown uh, semifinal results. Good. So okay. So uh, so again, uh, versus Nerds said Nia Jax versus uh, Valkyria, and Bjorn Abest said uh, Sky versus Bel Air. Interesting. Limping Bel Air. Limping Bel Air. Yeah. Good. And then the men's, uh, no, the men's king of the ring, <laughs> yeah. the king of the ring uh, tournament. Uh, Sheamus is out, Mysterio is out, Ricochet, Balor, Styles, Corbin, Escobar, Dawkins, Kofi Kingston, Ilya Dragunov, uh, Carmelo Hayes, and LA Knight is out. So the semifinals are Ginter versus Jay Uso. And Randy Orton versus Tama Tonga. We'll go first. Uh, the final will be Gunta Gunta versus Gunta. the RKO out of nowhere. Randy Orton, even though because one, of a good guy versus bad guy. Or? Yeah, you have. To, yeah. They don't go with that. I don't think the, um, there's an argument for letting. And I think Tama Tonga win. If we have to go with the, the women's final, this will be the bigger match for the men's yeah. final. So they need bigger yeah. star power in it. So that's why I think mm. so. And Bjorn? we're actually oh, sorry, predicting sorry, first. Yeah. yeah, we're actually predicting a DQ loss for Tama Tonga because they will still protect him uh, mm. as this uh, crazy guy. So is that a bonus question or no, a bonus no. prediction? No. no. Okay. Bjorn. Uh, Ginter 
of course. And <laughs> Orton or Tamatonga or Uso? Um, well, uh, for uh, for Gunter to go on to the finals, he has to beat Uso. So mm. that's a given. Mm. And although, I mean, if Uso was on the other side of the bracket, I thought that would would have been uh, the finals. Mm. The only thing that's really hard for me to like um, understand about this is who do WWE think will gain anything by becoming the king of the ring? Will Ginter earn anything on becoming king of the ring? No. Mm. Will Orton earn anything on becoming king of the ring? No. Should Tamatonga become king of the ring? No, not really, because it's not solo, and, and, uh, and solo and should be. Father was King Haku before that. That's a <laughs> true enough, but I don't think they'll put enough uh, leverage on that to uh, make him uh, king. At least not yet. Maybe sometime in future. Still, um, okay. So would Uso uh, earn anything on becoming king of the ring? Uh, Yeet King? I don't know. Mm. I don't Yeet? see any of them earning much on becoming King of the Ring, really. Unfortunately, I kind of agree with the Danish um, team here that uh, the finals will be Ginter versus um, Orton. And, uh, um, yeah. But if you think something else, Omish, no, it's totally okay. No. So, totally because... Agree. Hey, Bjorn. Did you, to... did you ever wrestle Gunda when he was wrestling in Europe? No, but uh, after Hamo wrestled uh, Gunter, he um, messaged me uh, right afterwards and told me that it was just like wrestling me. <laughs> yeah, I could I could actually imagine you and Gunder would have a great match together because you're the same kind of size and you can move both of you. So that could be a that would have been a great match, I think. Cool. Well, thank you. I, I think so too. Thanks. But I don't understand. If Ginter is going to be king of the ring, he's not going to wear the crown and the thing. Well, he could be Kaiser of the ring, uh, but uh, <laughs> Kaiser, but not king of the ring. Be. The only person I think will gain anything from winning winning this tournament is Nia Jax, because she could really be like a disgusting queen and just be obnoxious. That's the only one. Not Valkyria, not Sky, not Belair, just Nia Jax. So... I really don't understand so this tournament. So you're predicting that we were wrong. No, but... I'm not. Because, because I, I, in a way, I don't care about this King of the Ring. Uh, but I so, think no, 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 no. To, I stick with to... uh, Sky and Blair. Yeah. It's up to whoever wins the tournament. Because again, when Booker mm. T won it, I didn't mm. think he would ever do great as a king. But he did pretty fun uh, stuff with being a king yeah. and stuff like that. So mm. I, th I think it's up to the wrestler who wins the tournament, how they want to do with it afterwards. Mm. Absolutely. Very and I good think point. all of us and I think all of us picks uh Gunther. But we'll see on uh, on uh, Raw and SmackDown. But it's yeah, I think it's going to be Gunther. So that was all of the matches, guys. Do we have any, have any more uh, any more bonus predictions, uh, Nikolai? I don't think so. I think we'll just go with what we have here. Yeah, so we agree on everything except the Queen of the Ring tournament. In the Queen of the Ring, uh, again, um, Restless and Nerd says Nia Jax versus uh, Valkyria, and, and Bjorn Best says uh, Sky versus Belair. So that's the only one. Only thing we disagree on. Well, that's scary. Well, um... And, and, and there will be another point on on uh, on Friday yeah. after SmackDown when we know the all of the results from the from the tournament. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Excellent. So Anna's, Anna's and I will uh, the two nerds will uh, keep you posted. Yes, coming up, so I'm gonna keep you posted, posted. Come I'm on, sing the bonus prediction. No. Oh, 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 you have Bjorn. Oh, give it to us. Yeah, oh. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mansoor is going to show up. <laughs> oh? Yep. He's Why? still employed by WWE. 
he's from there and um that'll be local guy making a um an appearance whatever kind of appearance it is just like just showing his face somehow so i think mansoor is going to um just um, appear he, he, somehow he, i could answer for us both no yeah, yeah. because yeah. he's not still employed by WWE. So thank you, Bjorn, for oh. giving us oh. this so, so, question. So, 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 sorry, thank you. Thank, thank you. I thought, you. I, thought, <laughs> I, thought he, I thought I thought it was. I thought it was. No, no. I just heard him uh, speaking speak. on uh, some podcast and that was Maybe, when right? he was yeah. still um, uh, employed by WWE. So I thought, well, wait a second. If they still have him employed, I haven't seen him forever. But that would be the right place to just make a call back and put him in. But I mean, if he's not employed there anymore, I'm sorry. Then uh, that kind of falls out. Uh, when did they uh, let him go? How old was that podcast I was listening to? Oh, the, 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 it's the, a... sa the same time as the Ultimate Warrior died and the uh, Yoga Suna <laughs> went out of. <laughs> no, that 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 wouldn't be right. Because he wasn't trained as a wrestler as of yet by then. He was released then, in September 23. Yeah, there you go. So that's 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 not that long ago. September 23, that's only half a year ago. I mean, um, I think you should about, do a bonus as a question about it. I'm, I'm, really, yes. I'm yes. Uh, we, uh, great, can, great one. Can, yeah, I think we'll still keep the no ends on this one. Yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, well, uh, Anas, just a little thing, as I was saying on the podcast where we picked up and talked about the results, I still think you would do better without Björn. Just Björn, tag. Tag. <laughs> No, no. On the sh uh, like, Nikolai sent me a video. He yes. sent me a video, um, and I couldn't understand a word he said in the video, but I did understand something. I understood... He was trying to sing in it. He was uh, singing about a bear sleeping. And there's a point to that song. Don't wake a sleeping bear because you don't want the repercussions. So, uh, Nikolai, understand this. Repercussions of waking a sleeping bear could be really bad. I am the modern day Viking. My name is Bjorn Sem. And if I power bomb you, you do not get up. Anna's Bjorn, you should just do I... what I do when Nikolai sends me something, I just delete it. It's <laughs> they are Nikolai Vakman and Chaos uh, from Wrestlers and Nerds. We are Anders and Bjorn from from Björn Erbest, og vi prekast. <laughs>